In a world where productivity is often prioritized over people, the tragic death of 30-year-old May, a factory worker in Thailand, has brought the lethal consequences of toxic work culture into sharp focus. Denied sick leave despite her deteriorating health, May's collapse at Delta Electronics is more than a singular tragedy. It's a damning indictment of workplace environments that push employees to their breaking point. Her untimely death has ignited a wave of outrage, not only for the loss of life, but for the unforgiving conditions that led her there. May had been diagnosed with an inflamed large intestine and had taken sick leave from the 5th of September till the 9th with a hospital admission to back her request. Even after discharge, her condition remained severe and she sought further sick leave. However, her manager refused her request, insisting on yet another medical certificate before granting additional time off. Out of the fear of losing her job, May returned to work on the 13th of September where she collapsed within 20 minutes of starting her shift. She was rushed to the hospital for emergency surgery, but tragically passed away the next day. This incident is disturbingly reminiscent of other workplace tragedies like the deaths of Ernst & Young's Anna Sebastian Perel and HDFC senior executive Sada Fatima in India. Anna faces constant micromanagement and lacks support from her supervisors. This had led to her experience severe anxiety and exhaustion affecting her daily life and productivity, while Sadaf dealt with persistent disrespect and bullying in her workplace. This toxic work environment has caused significant mental health issues including stress and depression which impacted her job performance and overall well-being. Their stories echo a common yet rarely addressed theme of burnout, exploitation and the unhealthy obsession with productivity that permeates modern corporate culture. Companies often tout their employees as their greatest asset, but the reality in many industries tells a different story. From May's harrowing death in Thailand to Anna and Sadaf's similar fleets in India, it is evident that the toxic work culture is becoming a silent killer. Rigid corporate policies like denying necessary sick leave places undue pressure on employees who are left choosing between their health and their livelihood. Workplaces that glorify overwork, neglect well-being and punish vulnerability set a dangerous precedent with corporate condolences and investigations arriving too late for those already affected. Unless companies overhaul their treatment of employees, these issues will persist. It's time to hold businesses accountable for prioritizing profits over people and ensure that employee care evolves from mere rhetoric to genuine policies protecting workers' rights to rest and recover without the fear of retribution.